Hey my friends, how you doing? Matias here, beautiful day, Sacramento, California. And I wanted to shoot this quick video. And really this video is about what I mentioned in my email and you know, maybe you saw my Facebook status or you came across this post. And as you read the headline, it says, for things to change, you have to change. And this is something, a philosophy that I learned from Jim Rohn, a philosophy that I learned at a very young age. Um, I had the opportunity to be introduced to some of Jim Rome's tapes and CDs and personal development training material at the age of 16. And when I learned and understood this philosophy and this concept of in order for things to change in your life, in order for things to alter in your life, you need to change as a person. And you'll notice and realize if you were to draw a piece of paper and draw a straight line and put, you know, certain dates throughout that piece of paper you'll start to realize that there's going to be ups and downs in your life. There's going to be goods and bads, wonderfuls and, and depressed times. But what keeps a steady, a steady mindset, what keeps a steady growth in an individual is understanding that if you want things to change, you have to change as a person. And I wanted in a different life. I grew up in a very poverty kind of scenario. Uh, my parents immigrated here from a third world country and I really didn't have much growing up but what I did have was heart, a burning desire, ambition and I was just looking for something out there that would lead me to a great life, lead me to a life of well balanced physical activities, emotional thoughts, you know financially and spiritually but in order to achieve those four balances in life. I had to change. I had to make adjustments in my life. I had to remove myself from groups of individuals that were bad influence. I had to remove myself from activities that were costing me time where that time I could invest in myself, invest in, in books, invest in seminars, traveling, invest in things that led me or would lead me to the ultimate life that I want to create, right? So once you understand that this concept and, and really take it in and take it in at a very deep level and start to see your daily activities and you start to realize that what you may be doing right now is not going to get you where you want to go. In order to get where you want to go is you have to change some things. You have to change your habits. You have to change the books you're reading. You have to change the TV shows you're watching. You have to change even sometimes change the people around and and it can be difficult but if you want to take your life to the next level you want to reach you know the optimal level of success whether it's money whether it's spiritually emotionally physically whatever it is you have to you know sacrifice some things so once I understood for things to change I had to change I completely started taking things out of my life that were non-productive, taking things out of my life that were holding me back, distractions, whatever it was. And as soon as I began to change as an individual, as soon as I began to move forward in a positive way, my life began to change. I started to see more money. I started to see different people. I started to meet different girls. I started to meet uh, different friends, different relationships. And that's what I was attracting. That's the thought that I had inside my head that that's where I want to be. That's where I want to go. But in order to get there, I had to change. So always keep in mind, whatever you're doing, wherever you want to go, you have to change. You have to understand that change is good when it's done in a proper way. I'm not saying go out there right now and go crazy because that's going to lead you to a completely different path that you want to go. But go out there and, and learn the skills of other successful people. Learn what other su successful people read. Um, one of the biggest questions I ask every time I meet a seven-figure, eight-figure earner, a multimillionaire is, what books did you read? What courses did you attend or buy? What seminars did you go? Because I understand in order to get to the next level in life, in order to reach my next goal, in order to do whatever I want, I have to change something in me to reach that. So my friends, you guys have been great today. I just want to shoot this quick video here from Sacramento. It's a great day out. And, you know, God bless. Take care. And see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.